Hey, yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Crisp Purpose, back at it again with another Gems of War Faction Assault video for you guys. Now, this weekend, we have a Faction Assault expansion for the Faction of the Labyrinth, and we picked up a new troop with the addition of this expanded faction. Let's take a look at it. The... Uh, Maze Cyclops is the new addition to the faction. This is a pretty interesting troop. It's an Orc Giant with a 13 mana cost, right? The spell is Gore and Gaze. It's going to deal magic plus 3 splash damage to an enemy boosted by my attack. And that's actually not bad. 2 to 1 boost ratio there, which is decent. And then it will knock them to the back. It has for its traits Deep Strength. It will gain 7 attack when attacking Delves. It has Big for the second trait. And the final trait is Grudge. It will gain 1 attack. When an enemy casts a spell. Now this troop right here looks like it could be very useful for the pure faction, man. Because this pure faction is one of the most annoying. The Labyrinth's pure faction is one of the hardest ones. Um, simply because of one troop that keeps on barriering itself and gaining more armor. If you don't kill it really quickly, yeah, you're going to have to just quit the, the match and, and go back. So I'm going to showcase about a couple teams or so for this faction. I'm not going to go into the... the um, pure faction team i think you need to have this troop on your pure faction team and you can mess around with a couple options i think there's a lot of videos out there with pure faction teams for this i'm not going to be going back over it um i think particularly one of the reasons why because cam wants to sleep right so i'm not going to take up a lot of time going through that video so let's take a look at the team though Right, so this is the first team. This is a pure green team up front. We're going to be having Bog Strider. Bog Strider is one of my favorite generator troops. Elemental monster. Eight mana cost for Mist of Scales. Spell is Bog Slime. Very simple. Destroy gems, right? And entangle a random enemy. And his traits are pretty good as well. He has uh, Bark Skin for his final trait. That's a 33% skull damage reduction. He has Tangle. For his second trait, he will entangle uh, when doing skull damage, and he's, he's an elemental, so he gains two to life um, for all elemental allies. Um, as you guys can see as well, I have potions here, I have potion of enchantment, I have times two potion of explosion, and... And that's pretty good, right? Uh, potion of Rejuvenation times two, potion of armor, potion of blessing, and a potion of shielding. I think I got a lot of these potions from my... Um, from doing the faction for myself. So yeah, I still have these potions attached right here. Let's take a look at my main damage dealer on the te team, Nebulodrix, right? This is the Cosmic Dragon for green. One of my favorites. Why? Because it's from Darkstone. Darkstone is my favorite kingdom. Um, dragon troop, of course, 30 mana cost, like all the other Cosmic Dragons. It will deal magic a huge amount of damage right here because this is obviously boosted up by the faction, right? I'm dealing 253 damage to all enemies, converting 5 green gems to green dragon gems. 10% chance of an extra turn boosted by green gems. We all know the traits. And then I'm using the weapon is going to be the Doom Glaive, all right? This weapon here is one of my favorites. Um, deal AoE damage, convert brown gems to Doom Skulls. Um, I'm not going to need to cast this until super high up and i'm not going to be going that far i'm going to collect all the rewards for the faction then i'm going to stop because i already have all these factions completed right but this is a good weapon to have uh reason being it has tangling in the weapon upgrades it has reaching it has leaf it will create a leaf storm and it has doomed nature it will um it will drain mana i think it's about three mana from all green allies so yeah that's that's a pretty good weapon i'm using it along with the warden hero class right here. There's a number of different reasons why I'm using it with Warden, but I want to point out these main ones. So for one, Warden has Root Trap at the start of battle. It also has Nature's Aura. So it's going to create a Leaf Storm at the start of battle, which allows my Box Strider to get spell ready very, very easily because he's the main one that's generating mana for the team. Um, I also have set here just to mitigate any troops that might be submerged, Banishment. Right? I'm going to dispel all enemies on 4 or 5 gem matches. And what dispel does, it removes all positive status effects from enemy troops. So if they're barriered, if they're submerged, if they're enchanted, if they're blessed. One 4 plus gem match, voila. All those positive status effects vanish away. And then Leprechaun is going to be at the back of this team for a fast start. And I think for the banner here, as you guys can see on the screen, I'm using the um, Maze banner, right? This is a banner that has a plus 2 on green, I think. Plus one on red, and then we're minusing, we're minusing uh, purple, right? I think that's how it works. I'm playing a second fight here. I think I did the first one just to compose the team, and then I'm going to showcase to you the second fight. Or two. All right, there we go. Bog. 
damage. And that's going to be the case for majority of this fight. You know what I mean? It's not going to be hard to do this. It's going to be pretty, pretty simple. At least for me, um, depending on your magic level, it might be easier or a little bit not so easy. But it's still a simple faction assault, a weakened faction assault to complete. And I, I think that a lot of players still need these. There are a lot of persons that are still needing to complete factions. Um, for some reason, a lot of players avoid the underworld. And I don't understand why. The underworld is a critical part of the game. If you're avoiding that, you're going to end up losing out on a lot of resources. And then you're losing out on stats, you know what I mean? And then a lot more, a lot of resources, a lot of stuff is in the underworld. Um, a lot of great troops, right? If you avoid um, the underworld, you're missing out on a lot of great troops, man. Because while I was putting together this team, I saw so many underworld troops in the list. And I was like, dang, maybe I want to make... One of those. And I was like, nah, man, I want to go with a gem, a, a cosmic dragon. You know what I mean? I think a cosmic dragon is going to be the best for this. All right, so that is the first team right here. Box Rider, followed by Nebulidrix. Then we have uh, the Doom Glaive. And then finally, Leprechaun at the back of this team. I'm going to follow up with one more team right after this. And this is the second team that I'm going to be using for going through this, this faction assault. Um... Not necessarily use every single time, but I think a lot of players can use this team as well. Up front, we have Merilith on the team. One of my favorite generators, again, destroying a lot of gems. You see the theme with my teams? A lot of mana generating, a lot of AoE damage, a lot of fast starting. That's how my teams are, man. I really like that type of teams, right? Merilith at the top of the team, destroying uh, 99 gems. Wow. Dealing true damage to all enemies and gaining a small amount of attack. Um... Meteoridin, right? The Cosmic Dragon for red is on this team, dealing AoE damage as well with his Meteor Shower spell, converting five red gems to red dragon gems. 10% chance of an extra turn, boosted by red gems. And um, we all know his traits. Then I have the Doomed Crossbow on the team. This is the red uh, Doom Skull converting weapon. Deals AoE damage, converts blue gems to Doom Skulls. And you know the like, and the works of the weapon. The class is Sunspear, right? Sunspear is the best class for red. Heatwave for the final trait. I also have the Root Trap set. And then the Fire Starter, Gift of Fire, Firebringer, and of course Fireblade. Fireblade is not so important, but I'm going to keep it nonetheless. Leprechaun is back on this team as well for a fast start. And yeah, nothing else has changed. The banner is the same. Let's go. Let's see how it works out. There we go. Do we have Merilith? No, we do not. Let's cast Leprechaun, and we already killing them. We already killing them. Right, this is going to be super fast, especially if you're hoarded up a lot for this faction. You will have no problems blowing through this. Like, it's going to be like hot knife through butter, baby. Alright, let's go again. Let's see what we do here. Do we have Merilith? No, we do not. Let's cast Leprechaun. Mass gem destruction here. Big AoE damage. Yeah. I don't think anything can stop this team. Nothing whatsoever. Let's see where we're going next. Let's go to this room number three. I'm going to go to the boss room right afterwards. And I'm going to skedaddle, man. Let y'all try out the team. Tell me what you think. Drop some comments as well. I really like to see a lot of comments on the videos. Um, even if there isn't a lot of views, I really want to see people talking and, you know, explaining what they like, what they don't like. Even if you don't agree with me on the team, you think it's, you know, not the best, not the fastest. Uh, maybe there's something else you would like to use. Let me know. I probably want to try it out as well. You know what I mean? I'm not selfish. I want to share the love. You know what I mean? What do you think, Cam? What was that? What was that look on your face? Chat, Cam over here making some type of face. You know what? What's up with that? What's up with that girl? Ooh, big boy damage. There we go. And yeah, that was the boss room, right? Yeah, that was it. All right, we got it. All right, let's uh, grab our rewards here. Come on. Collect. Claim rewards. Good. And let's take a look once again at the team. Merrily to the top, destroying gems, followed by the Cosmic Dragon. Then an AoE damaging weapon. If you don't have this, put another weapon on the team. It should work fine. And then Leprechaun at the back of the team. Now, hopefully, you guys and gals found this video helpful and informative. If you did, remember to smash the like button and comment and let me know what you guys think. And yeah, catch y'all next one. Peace.